So very interesting is the properties of metal. Now aluminum, in thickness, you can find this stuff in the trash can. But if you went to buy it, you know, you'd pay a premium. This is a um, decommissioned oxygen tank. So the purity of metal has always fascinated me. This right here is a carbon tip cutter made for an air tool. Its weight is unbelievable. You can just tell what a finely machined piece of metal this is. You know, what a blend of different kinds of metal to make it stronger in heat. It's just fantastic. It's cool. Shit. And, you know, we kind of lose the fact that the value of the tool is based on its worth. This right here, it'll cut through anything, right? And it's, if it's sped it up enough, it's oiled enough. If it's um, being progressed just enough, it's a real tough tool. And it cuts just through metal, metal like it's butter. And you go through these boxes and people say, oh, we don't need those anymore. But your family's tools could be, you know, your lifesaver if your car breaks down. Because it's amazing how simple it is, and yet we pay someone else to look at it. There's a machine you can get for about 25 bucks. It's a code reader. You just plug it in. It'll tell you it's codes. You write the codes down on a piece of paper. You look them up on your phone. And then if the code says to change the alternator, you go over there and look, look at the alternator. Go on YouTube. You'll see what an alternator looks like. Okay, it's what? Three bolts and a, a tensioner belt? Three YouTubes later, you're out there with your dad's tools, changing it out. You're not going to you're gonna spend about 200 bucks, whereas it would have been almost 2000 Don't let this stuff just go to the wind and you think a card and no longer any cash in your hand is a good thing. No way. You can fucking bundle them up. Arrange them by size. Even though they're the right size, they may have a lot of different uses. They'd be bent to different angles, boxed or open. Every tool just right here. Why is this tool thing? Every one of those, you know, has helped me in a situation where I needed a tool to take something apart that saved my family thousands and I did the job myself. And these tools down at the loan shops, the pawn shops, are nothing. You can pick them up for nothing. I've seen these come in boxes. We do organize them by size, separating them out if they're the same. A couple backup boxes. This man will take a lot off your family's finances. And it's fun. It's really not that hard. Take an alternator out. Maybe 15, 20 minutes. and hook the battery. Anyway. This is where your kid should be when your car breaks down. Saying, what the hell can I do to help you out, Pop? I see it's down. Here, let's go diagnose it and tell me what to go get and I'll install it tonight so Mom can get to work in the morning. That is why you teach your kids.